can we go to Jay Fadden uh, in St. Peter's Square? There he is, right there. My gosh. Jay, I recognize you. Well, listen, if you keep talking, my iPhone battery's <laughs> going to die. <laughs> it, no, things are great out here. I mean, the weather's nice. It's uh, about 60 degrees and just very exciting. How's it out there? Well, we're looking well, forward to another snowstorm, so stay right where you are. <laughs> Have a little uh, spaghetti carbonara and relax. Hey Jay, uh, what's what's the mood like uh, in Rome? What, what, you know, what's what's the buzz on the street? You know what? It's very exciting. You know what, it's very uh, exciting. Uh, we landed, uh, and the moment we landed, we went right to the hotel, and within a couple minutes, we we're on the on the streets of Rome, and people are excited. They want to see what's going on. Uh, there's press all over the place, and. Um, and everyone you talk to is, is wondering what will happen. When will the conclave start? When, uh, who, who will be the next pope? It's very exciting. <laughs> Jay, if you could, if you could um, expand on that too. I was just reading something uh, about how uh, literally like 5,000 uh, press people are descending upon Rome. Maybe if you could talk about that. Did, did you see people coming over in the plane? Uh, what are you seeing in terms of uh, press and the people from around the world being there? with me um, and it was very busy but let me show you Kevin I think I could show you this actually watch this you can kind of see it can you see the, all the people over there yeah, the yeah. lights that is that is some of the um, the press that are here but no there is there's a lot of press I was at two press conferences today one with, with Father Lombardi and Father Rosica from Salt and Light the other one was with Cardinal O'Malley and Cardinal, um, well, who was the other press conference? It was, it was two. Uh, Donato, Cardinal Donato. Um, and there was press everywhere. It's unprecedented. It's been unbelievable. Now, uh, what are they saying about the actual beginning of the conclave? Because I had a little back and forth with Rocco Palmo of Whispers this morning, and he seemed to think, have a gut feeling that it was going to be uh, later next week. Well, I, I don't like that gut feeling, and neither does my wife. <laughs> but uh, what they've done is today and tomorrow, they're only doing a half a day, the Cardinals in their meeting. Two of the Cardinals aren't here yet, and they cannot vote to start a conclave until they get here. The other thing is tomorrow they're going to have a, a prayer service at the Chair of St. Peter at 5 o'clock. Uh, so I think that they're, they're taking their time, but they're taking their time for a specific reason. Talking to some of the people out here, the Cardinals have to get to know one another. They have to to talk, to figure out what the issues are, and what the next pope has to tackle. Jay, have you been able to talk to anybody since you arrived? I know you have been down there too too long, but uh, have you been able to talk to anybody about uh, their experience so far? Yeah, I have. I've, I've spoken to a couple people. I had an interview with Father Rosica, who just was wonderful to us. We uh, interviewed... Um, uh, Sebastian, and we're doing a series that Alan Lee is putting on YouTube. It's called Church on the Ground. So we've done some of those. We had a Cardinal O'Malley today, uh, and we met with, and Father, you'll like this, Monsignor Ty, who's been very good to us. But I have to tell you, everywhere you go, people are talking about it. And what inspires me is that so many young people, and you always hear about the church, and, and what I'm seeing is this is a church that is relevant and that people care about. And I write about that in my blog a little bit, but very exciting to be here in the world right now. I want to remind people, too, that uh, you can read the blog uh, daily, uh, installments from Jay in Rome at blog.catholictv.com. That's blog.catholictv.com. Now, Jay, I have to ask you, I know you've been up at the Pontifical North American College. Uh, the American Cardinals are staying up there uh, until the conclave actually begins. Are they treating you well at NAC? At NAC. All I have to do, Father, is use your name. As long as I say Father Reed, I'm treated like gold. No, as always, they've been great to us. I met a young seminarian there today. His name was Matthew. He's from Omaha, Nebraska. And he it's his second year, having a wonderful time, loves the knack. But it, it was just a great experience. Listen, they're always so welcoming at the knack. And I think they look forward to having Americans there for the Americans who are there uh, to talk about what's going on in the United States, just talk. And of course, Monsignor Burrell has been very good to us. So the NAC is a home away from home for me now because it is a home away from home from you. And I did see your picture up there again. <laughs> good. <laughs>
Now, we, we talked about the amount of press and um, the amount of people that are starting to pour in. Uh, maybe if you could uh, share with us uh, what you're seeing in terms of security there. I, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that there's a, a buildup of Italian police and Vatican security around as well. Well, Kevin, everywhere you look, there is security. Um, a matter of fact, I keep looking around because I have to make sure that I'm okay here. But uh, there is, it's, it's, the security is unbelievable. You cannot get in a building without the proper press credentials. And there are numerous types of press credentials. I have mine, which is, see? But that's different. If you don't have press credentials, you're not getting in. Uh, and it's, it's good, I'm, I'm, glad that, I'm glad that they're doing this. I'm glad that it's like this out here. But they're very strict and they are making sure that everyone is doing the right thing. Actually, I've already seen a couple of people get kicked out of St. Peter's Square with him. Well, Jay, uh, it's been great talking to you. Uh, we know uh, that your, your battery has uh, limited capability today, but we hope to re bring you back uh, every time we're here in the living room. So thanks for taking time to talk to us and have a little spaghetti carbonara <coughs> for me.